blog at Odyssey for the School of Art Fiction YouTube channel. Today we are doing a, a we have a themed week this week and next week, and we're all answering the same questions from the we like reading tag, I believe. So those are thirteen book related questions, and here are my answers. The first question is, what's your favorite genre? Um, genres I like are paranormal books, fantasy, I like paranormal romance, urban fantasy, um, horror, I still have no idea how to pronounce that word. Horror. No, creepy book. Let's stick with that. Creepy book. Um, another genre I recently quite enjoyed are dystopian books. They are usually, they are really fast paced, um, they all have to governments that are going after you and so far I really enjoyed that genre. Although the most hype books I haven't enjoyed that much. But uh, overall as a genre I really like it. The second question is at the moment what's your favourite book or book series? That's a horrible question. I have no idea how to answer that. So today I'll be going Insurgents. But I really like this book and the first book in the series. I think you pronounce it as Divergent. I'm not really sure. But these are extremely fast-paced books. I mean, they're super thick, but a huge. But I both read them in like two days or something. And I'm quite a fast reader, but I tend to do about a week about with one book because I read like five at a time. It's not really a good, good way to get through your books, but I don't have a long attention span, so I just tend to pick them all up or something. Anyway, I really like this series. Third question Are there any books you dislike reading? Well, I don't like memoirs. I have no idea why you should want to read a memoir. I mean, why read an entire book? about someone's life sounds pretty boring to me. Maybe someone has an extremely interesting life or something, but I just really don't see it. Uh, overall, I don't really like nonfiction, only if it's about a subject I'm really interested in. It's, but not for fun. I just stick with fiction books. The fourth question, what's the best thing about reading? Um, I actually made a video about this, Five Reasons Why Everyone Should Read. Um, you can find it, I will add a link below. Um, first thing is, this is awesome. come on. Are there any disadvantages to reading? Well, obviously, um, the money, come on. I'm pretty broke. I buy way too many books. It's the only disadvantage, this is the thing. When did you get into reading? I just can't even remember when I get in, got into reading. I mean, um, I know my parents read to me since I like, was like one or something. And from that moment, I loved books. I wanted them to read to me all the time. I would just point at words and say, read those to me. And the moment I we got a computer at home, I would just step in all these random letters and I would tell them to read them to me. Of course they weren't words, but I still thought it was something. In your life, what have you got out of reading? Has it impacted you, changed you at all? Well, it hasn't really changed me. But it does have an impact that I, um, I spent a lot of time reading and reading got me into the blogging community and that has changed my life. I mean, I talk to people from all over the world just every day and I think that's really cool. How often do you buy books? Well, as you might know, I try to be like on a book buying ban for about 90% of the time, but the remaining 10% I go absolutely crazy. So I just try to buy as little books as possible. Um, and while I'm saying this, I know a little package containing four books uh, is arriving about today. 
So, um, I tried to just maybe buy two to three books every month. The next question. What got you started on book vlogging here in the YouTube book community? Did anyone in particular inspire you? Um, the reason I started vlogging was because I've had my book blog and book reviews for I think over two years now and I always, I changed a lot of things. Uh, I changed the way I review, I added posts, um, dropped a lot of memes, um, but I wanted something new, something to keep uh, vlogging a little interesting for me. So I decided to do a vlog. And I immediately got asked by Lauren to join her group, and well, here I am. Uh, who are your favorite booktubers? I, I have a confession to make. I haven't even watched any other booktubers. I, I mean, I've watched the other like who are bad fiction girls, but I have no clue who else to watch. So if you've got any recommendations for me, just leave them in the comments and I'll check them out because I'd love to watch some more book tutorials, but I have no idea where to start. How many books do you have? I'm not sure you want to know. Um, I think I started collecting books about three years ago, and I own over 200. I think at last count it was 200. Will you ever run out of room for all your books? Well, one thing is, I already ran out of room. Um, I have random stacks here in my room, just waiting to get on a shelf, but I don't have any shelves. I actually even um, had to clear out uh, a drawer where I usually kept my, my, my socks. And in that drawer, there are books now. I just put myself underneath my bed now. That's how bad it is. <laughs> and the final question is, what books would you save in a fire? Well, first of all, if there really was a fire in my house, the first thing that was on my mind wouldn't be books, but probably my family or the guinea pig or the dog. So I tried to save those first, and after that, if I had a lot of time to get up and get my books, um, the book I would most likely to save would be The Asylum for Wayward Victorian Girls by Emily Autumn. Um, I absolutely adore Emily Autumn's music, and she wrote a book, and it's about a girl in Victorian time, and it's partly autobiographical, um, which sounds a bit weird, since I just spend a lot of time saying that memoir sucks. But the thing is, it's really interesting and cool because the whole book is illustrated. Um, there are really some some really awesome pictures in here, um, copies from her diaries. Um, it's in full color. Um, as you can see, it's uh, extremely heavy. And if I can show you, I got a sign to get along with it. Um, well, if I could save this one, there is another, um, well, it's not really one book, but what I would like to save too, my illustrated collection of Lord of the Rings books. The only problem is I would probably won't get it out of my house because it's extremely heavy. Those are the answers to the 13 uh, why we like reading tag questions. Um, this video has turned out a bit a little longer than I hoped it would. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it.